Hey, what's up guys my name is video and welcome back to another Olam Kosi Akonde. now uh, you are going to be learning how I created a particular flyer design for my radio show that uh, happens every Saturday now this is the flyer in particular and uh, that's basically what we're going to be creating today uh, the tool we're going to be using is Photoshop so what you're going to do is you're going to get your systems get your laptops open Photoshop and let's get started so now well uh, this is uh, the one I've done already so what we're going to do is that we're going to go to file this is basic stuff now if i go to file new just go to file new and create a new document so uh the resources for this uh, flyer design are going to be in the description it's basically only one resource just the microphone i use if it's not in the description you can down you can download it, any microphone that looks like this so uh i want to i wanted to post this flyer on uh, instagram so i used one of instagram's default sizes 1080 by 1350 pixels so what we're going to do is that uh let's not name it i'm too far away from my computer now uh then 1080 by 1350 and then we're going to click create and that's going to create an artboard for us So in the meantime, yes, this radio show is mainly about is mainly for teenagers, and the target market and the target audience obviously is teenagers. So we don't we obviously don't want to uh, cloud them with too much information as per their attention span is low. Uh, so I'm, that that's why this design is very clean and very minimal. Now the original design we're going to be making a different version of it, just a small change. We're going to change this thing at the bottom. We're going to change it. Uh, we're going to change the text because. Uh, it's not supposed to be brought to you by VOP. It's going to be on VOP, then produced by CC Media. That's the small change we're going to make. So we're starting from scratch. Twelve seconds later. Okay, so once the artboard is uh, is there, you like zoom in if yours is not zoomed in. Yeah. Then the first thing you're going to want to do is you want to like import your image. Import your image. Um, yes, so this one, this image, okay, this isn't working. So, you, we're just going to import our image file, place embedded. Let me go to our downloads. This. Yes, so, um, wow, this is going to make some serious complications. Anyway, so, so as we have imported this, I'm going to scale it a bit. Yes, yeah, so I think this this scale is okay. And I want to center the microphone. So I go to select all. Then press this up here. Yeah, so that's in, that centers the microphone. That centers the microphone. That is just one way of centering things. I don't know any other way. If you know another way, you can, you can try that. So I'm going to deselect and now we're going to uh, type we're going to type we're going to go to the type tool you can press t on your keyboard to activate the type tool then we're going to type the main message of the uh, program so let me just bring this closer to me we're going to type Teens. Now, what we're going to do is we're not going to type the whole teens trend show. We're going to type each of them one by one. For you, you see why now. So I'm going to choose the I'm going to choose the fonts. The font I used for this design was uh, Mont Blanc demo. Mont Blanc demo. Yes. Yeah, so that's what I'm going to use now. I'm going to leave it at black. To 
The next thing we will do is that we will then duplicate the text V for the move tool. We will then duplicate the text and scale it down a bit. So we've duplicated the text. Uh, press Shift and move it to the amount of spacing you think uh, would it would normally be. Then you edit it and change it, the teens to trends. We'll just add our type. So that's basically it. So we will then let's uh, okay yes. We'll then move them to the center. Okay, so that's the center. Oh no. The center center it. Yes. Then we'll now zoom in. Zoom into teens. Uh move a bit. Then we're going to take our rulers. If you don't have it, you can go to Windows. Is it window? No, you go to view rulers. So I have the rulers already. So what I will do is I will take this ruler, put it to the top of these tins, take another ruler, put it to the bottom of the tins. This is very important. This is very important. Now we go to the uh, shape tool, the rectangle tool, this tool. Then we will now do a rectangle in the Teens. So I'm going to just extend it a bit. Just, ex just extend it a bit. Okay, let's reach this so that's it. Yes. Okay, that's okay. Uh -huh. We. They will now put it beneath the two, the two text. So now we go back to Control Zero for now, just for now. Or not, or not. Let's let's zoom back in. Let's zoom back in. And move this thing, this uh, shape, to the trends. Underneath the trends. Uh, bro, what is this now? Shift. Move it to underneath the trends. Then we'll press Ctrl T because we want to adjust it a little bit outside. Press Shift and extend it to your liking. And press OK. Now we're going to change the color of the trend so we can see the type. We're going to change the color. There you go. Aha. So I think that spacing should be enough. But if that's not enough, we just move the oh no. We just take the rectangle and move it to to we feel that it is exactly beside it. Now we go back to the trends. And we're going to resize it downward. We're going to scale it down a little bit. A little bit. So that uh, the 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 square is meant to the rectangle is meant to be lined exactly with the Teens, but the trend is going to be down the small a bit is to create the illusion that okay the trend is the same size so just take a look so press alt and just scale it down just a tiny bit just a little bit see okay i think that should be enough yes then we'll Go out. Yes, that's fine. That's fine. So now let's remove these rulers and see what we have done. Okay, you can see that it looks it looks as if the trends and the things are the same size when really it's not the same. So that's an that's an illusion that you can do. So what we're going to do now is we're going to group these things, trends, and the rectangle. We're going to group it. Then we're going to scale it just like that, just like that. Now you can see here that underneath it was a show, thin strand show. 
so we're going to type show so show 14 strength show obviously oh the text is white yes now i'm going to shift it here a bit move it up with the arrow key okay i'm satisfied with that now i'm going to change the font so the font i'm going to use for this is a uh, built titling now i can see it's uh, italic but i don't want it to be italic and i don't have the regular version of the font so what do i do what i will do for first of all let us let's scale it so Control c let's scale it yeah scale let's scale this okay that's fine oh then what are going to, what you're going to do is after you scale it you right click then click on skew then you very carefully shift it or if you have a long font a, a font that is as long as this you have a font that is as long as this uh you can try that but i don't have another font that is as long as this i can't i don't have time to search for that so i just took the italic one and uh and i'm skewing it to to be straight so is this straight yes okay now this is straight so that's all so now i'm going to move it a bit yeah and move upwards okay yeah i think that's fine that's that's fine so okay so we're going to move the uh microphone upwards and we're going to bring the microphone down just a tiny bit just a tiny bit yes so that's pretty much how I did what is here. That's pretty much how I did it. The next thing we are going to work on, the next thing we are going to do is we are going to put this uh, date and the date and time and the VOP then the things got the voice and this shadow of the mic. That's the next thing we are going to do. So to do that is relatively simple. I just put the ruler here. Just put that ruler there. Then take the rectangle tool. Actually, no. Let's type it first. So, T for the type tool. Type here. Let me reduce. Okay, that's too small. 24. And change the font to Montserrat. then change it to extra bold just extra bold so now saturdays saturdays 7 30 to 8 30 now I'm going to change the 7.30 to 8.30 to, uh, to Montserrat, let's see semi-bold, is semi-bold right? Yes, yeah, semi-bold is fine. 12 seconds later. Beneath the dates that we've just, the time, is it date? Yeah, the time that we've just written. We will then take the rectangle to. Just draw a simple rectangle right about there. Now, if you're wondering about color, we're going to get there, right? We're going to get there. I just like to design everything in black and white for now. In at the beginning, then I start to put color. That's what I like to do. So we are now going to change the color of this Saturday to white. 
wait. Yes, so that's that. Now we're going to group the two. Command G. Command J to duplicate. And we're going to shift, drag down. Then in this uh, other group, we're going to change the text from, we're going to change the text, simple as that. Now this is the radio station that uh, it is on. It's on VOP. What? Not VOP. 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 Ninety point three FM. Now, okay, that should be fine. Actually, now change the ninety point three FM to uh, semi bold, like I did with the Saturdays, whatever. Come on. Semi bold. Ooh, that's medium metallic. I mean, we've all made that kind of mistake before. Semi bold. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. Thank you. Thank you, Photoshop. Don't shame me. <laughs> now, this rectangle is too long, so I'm just going to like adjust it to meet shifts. Drag. There we go. I believe that's fine. That's better. Now, the last thing we are going to add is uh, teens. No, not teens categories. Uh, produced what? Produced by. Uh, last we're going to add is produced by CC Media. That's what we're going to add last. That's what we're going to add. Produced by CC Media. Now, it's not in this original design. No? It's not here. Hold on. It's not here. But I was asked to put it. So. I'm going to find a way to put it that it's not uh, disrupt. Hold on. And I'm back. Sorry about that. So, how can I put it? Okay, let me just let me just uh, put the teens got the voice first. So, type two. This is annoying. Oh my god. Photoshop, they annoy me. So let's delete this. Close the group. Yeah. And we write. So, teens. Oops. Ugh, it's in black, it's in white. Teens, those right teens got the boys. See what I see. See what happened. Teens, is, what's teens? Is? Teens got the voice. That's a catchphrase, I think. I think that's what you call it, catchphrase. So full stop. Got with a with an a, not a o. So an o. So I'm going to change the fonts to uh extra bold or black anyone i think black will be no black is too much extra bold there we go v for the move to oops shift i want to center it you know what? let's use the center method we used in the beginning of the video select all then center Huh. Okay, yeah, center. And then select and deselect. So that's the size. So I'm going to click on everything except things got the voice. And we're going to move it upwards just a tiny bit. Yeah, that's that's lovely. That's nice. So now let's find a way to put that uh, produced by. Okay, yeah, we're going to put it up. We're going to put it up. So. 
type to up here. Uh, Montserrat. Okay, no. Up here is Mont Blanc demo. Okay. Produced by CC Media. That noise was my sister. For those of you that are curious. What is all this? I don't want this. Got to see. Scale down. Just take it. Just there. Yeah, that's fine. I think that gap is okay. Yeah, that gap is okay. Then. Wait. Change it to Montserrat because what I'm seeing here, I don't like it. See, that's fine. That's that's okay. So now we're done with the layout. We've gotten how everything is supposed to be placed. Yeah, that's what I've done. Next, we're going to do, we're going to add some color and we're going to add the backgrounds and the effects that I added that made it look as great as it did. So this is the official one we're going to use. We're not going to be using that previous one. So let's come here let's come to this uh the first one that i did and let's go to the original text so we can get so we can sample these colors because i think i'll change the colors just a little bit so uh where is the teens 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 so teens the color let's see we're going to copy the code so for those of you that want the color code the color code is AD7344. AD7344. That's the color code for this for this brown. So I'm just going to copy this. Press OK. Come over here. So I reach to a new one. This is the group. Teens. Here. And paste. Paste it. So now we have that brown. Then I'm going to go to the rectangle. Basically everything that needs this uh, color code, I'm going to put the color. So, that. And the other rectangles. There we go. And the last rectangle. Mm, okay. What's up? Okay. Yeah, there. There. So now I've added that color. And now we're going to add this like a uh, light effect on that is here but i'm going to make it a bit darker because it's too bright here and it's like taking it's a bit distracting and i don't like that so okay i'm oh, sorry about that so let's uh take this oh no actually let's just i just come here to the text let's go to this rectangle first create a new layer so this is how you do you create you go to create a new layer press the b for brush tool let's uh see the size oh that is way too big because i'm way too big <laughs> color 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 i'm going to now sample this color and find like a bright ish version of it okay let's see this let's see this I'm going to paint and I'm going to create clipping mask okay no difference actually 
so let's change the color let's make it slightly like this oh it's on the wrecked what am i doing yeah let's do it here uh, uh -huh, there we go you can see now that's not what i wanted it's too bright so go back here just yeah it should do uh -huh, it's better slightly better uh, do i want it like this fine let's just let's just use it that way uh we now go to teens do this do the exact same thing new layer creeping mask and paint yeah beautiful let's try it no let's find our way let's, yeah find that way so that's pretty much everything that regards color let's just move these things got the voice up a little bit that's pretty much everything that regards color now for background for background uh i'm going to leave these backgrounds in the description i'm going to leave this background description so this is the background which I, I use like a paperish uh dirty paper type of background so that's what i'm going to use here now so i'm going to use this later so pictures let's just go here in my textures find what i'm looking for is that it no that's not it Blah. Mm. excuse me so this is it yeah Just expand it. Hmm, yes. Quite alright. Then, what's the opacity I used? I don't want to experiment, so I just use what I used here. So, fill is 16, so. Let's do the same thing here. 16%. It might not be visible on your computer, but when you put it on, when you view it on your smartphone, it's subtle, but brilliant, in my opinion, humble opinion. So that's what I used. So now I'm going to, we're going to use this. You, if you, if you paid attention, you notice some glowish things that were in the show, in the show part of the text. So what those were, uh, some fire effects or something. Fire crackles, I guess. Fire flicks, yeah, that's what I called fire flicks. So, this is the one I used. Place. Yep. Absolutely beautiful, absolutely black, and. Uh, easily removed so we just like scale it down as we normally do scale it down just a tiny bit just a teeny weeny little bit oh that's too much photoshop you want to embarrass me not to do Move it up just a tiny bit. Uh, then you change the blend mode to screen. What's going on here? Lighting. Okay, yeah, screen. It's going to be over the first group. Yeah, I can see. We can now move it. So that's pretty much how you do that uh, effect in the show. Now you can see there are some parts here that are not supposed to be there. So just click on layer mask. B for the brush tool. Make sure it's set to black and erase this part. 
simple as ABC. It's also here, it's also there and there. And a little bit here. So that's done. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add this uh, microphone over here. Now it's a simple process if you don't if you haven't been following. Why haven't you been following? <laughs> Same simple process, you go to your files, import it, then do a bunch of editing. Downloads. Oops, nope, not that mic. This. So it was a very big picture. <laughs> I initially wanted to do something else with it, but that didn't work, it was horrible. And I ended up doing what you are about to see now. All right, now I'm going to scale this, even though I can't see shit. Okay, now I can see. So I'm going to scale, 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 until, until, hey, until, aha. Uh -huh. So that's fine. Now we're going to move the mic. Let's scale out a bit. Oh, it's, we scaled it too much. Alt downwards. Nope. Just say it's fine. Just just that is fine. Uh no it's not. Okay. Move downwards. I don't know why my computer decides to embarrass me today, honestly. There. Now we have that done, we go and click on layer mask uh, B for the brush tool. Make it big and beautiful. Mm-hmm. That's not how big you can go. Keep going, keep going. Brush, what happened? Stand up, Nigeria. Produced by Boomy Davis. So now we're going to just like erase this. Erase these parts of. One eternity later. And yeah, that was pretty much how I did it. Then I just reduced the opacity to Kingdom Come. Yeah, I know it looks like garbage, <laughs> but garbage got me this job. So, yeah, that's it. No, that's it. So that's pretty much it. So let me check the opacity I used in the previous one. What did I use? I used twenty nine percent. So we'll use the same twenty nine percent. In this one, why are we using lower 23? And I think it works, I think it works. But faithful to the lawyer, 29%. Now I'm just going to move it a bit. I'm just gonna keep moving it. I think it should be a bit more opaque. I I think it should be a bit more opaque. So that's what I will do. I'll just reduce it just a teensy bit more. Okay, yeah, that's fine. That's beautiful. So uh that's pretty much everything. If I Yeah, that's uh, okay, no, the shadow, the shadow, the shadow. Let's not forget the shadow, Mr. Shadow. So to do the shadow, uh create a new layer, B for the brush tool. Make sure it's black. Pick the size. Then you just like touch. Nope. Control Z. Make it bigger. Then you touch. <clears throat> then you just Control T. 
shift no control z shift bring it down here yep so you put it underneath p and g underneath the microphone and uh, yeah you have a shadow so that's how you do it so ladies and gentlemen that's how you create a flyer design for a radio program now uh, the problem is that even after learning this how to design like this how to do this you still have a major problem and that is knowing how to choose fonts for your designs and that probably means that when you're designing uh, designs for like maybe another company you might not need to be able to use this font you might know this font might not work so if you want to be able to solve that problem i recommend you watch the video you are seeing on screen now because it will show you seven different fonts that can be used for any